Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Today is Friday. Bitcoin has been struggling to maintain the position here and not go to lower levels. We are um, experiencing um, kind of a squeeze in the price action and we will get there. But first, let's go to the price to time model and see what's happening. So let me change to screen share. And here we are on the price to time model. We dropped this morning a bit, but we are now again at the same level as the 2017 cycle. We are still on track. So as from today and uh, until two days from now, which is the weekly close, we are maintaining the position, just going, just accumulating a bit between 35, 37, 40. So in this $5,000 range, um, but so far so good. So we have been not going down or to lower levels than the ones before. And we are still comparing to the 2017 cycle. We are still ahead of that cycle. Um, so let me check the RSI. The RSI was going up yesterday, but due to the little crash we had this morning, just a bit, not a crash, but just a bit of a retracement, the line of the RSI just retraced also a bit. So we are not close to the orange dashed line anymore, but we are still maintaining this position. And that's it for the price of time model. There's not much to talk about. The important dates will be Sunday for the weekly close and a few days later for the monthly close. Uh, Monday, so the 1st of June will be on Tuesday. So it will be interesting to see how the monthly close will, um, at, the, at what price level this monthly close will occur. So important dates are coming. Don't forget, Monday, uh, Sunday to Monday night, this will be the weekly close. And Monday night to Tuesday, this will be the monthly close. So it will be interesting to see what happens. And this is what we have to wait, by the way, just to get some more indications of what the price action might be doing. So let's go to the MRI. Let's just take a look at the weekly, which is the more uh, the more important um, time frame. Now we are just two days away from the weekly close. We have to close the week. We have to close the week with a green candle. And I would much more um, want this candle to close near the top of the week than where it is right now. Uh, but I'm not in charge, so no one is, and Bitcoin has its own thing going. So we don't um, we don't order the market. The market order us, orders us, and um, I would like to expect that, but we we never know what's going to happen. So by the way, the second trend line is holding the price. We still have the 50 period SMA here, the yellow line, which will be again support if we break to the downside again for another last leg of a bearish move. But uh, the probabilities I maintain the same. I would give it a 30 to 40% probability that we could still see lower levels, find support on the 50 SMA, and then retrace for a new reactivation of the price action to the upside. But let's see what happens these 50 to the sorry the yeah the 60 to 70 percent which is the remaining probabilities i still think that we have found the bottom here and we could retrace or accumulate at least accumulate for some time and then have a reactivation later to the upside we are however on a red seven of nine so the probabilities tell us um those three uh 30 to 40 percent probabilities uh, of having two more candles to the downside could lead us to the 50 period SMA and finding the bottom there. So this would be around the 28,000 level, uh, probably just a bit lower if we have a extended week for the last candle, candle or the previous one, the next candle counting from this one here. And let's see, uh, 30 to 40 percent, it's still on the table. It's not uh, to ignore such a big probability, and we should be careful. So, guys, don't don't um, don't take it lightly. Just prepare, have a plan. If we, in any case, go to the 28k level, you you should have a plan. At least some buy uh, limit orders, just to catch the probable uh, bottom if there is a second bottom to be found. 
So that's for the weekly uh, chart. Let's check the RSI. The RSI continues to be in the middle of the chart, uh, just going sideways. The MACD continues bearish. We have some movement on the BitMEX funding rate. We have been going a bit down, so this is negative already, but we will check it on the shorter time frames. So let's see the daily. So the daily is again finding support on my trend line. Uh, the trend line has been very, very important in my analysis for the MRI strategy. Uh, also, also for the pro indicator strategy, but however, I have other indications there on those charts. So for the MRI chart, my, my trend line that has been plotted a long time ago has been supporting the price. First, first attempt to break it failed, second, third, fourth, all the attempts failed except this one here that we were able to close below the trend line, but then we got up really fast, engulfing candle to the upside. So this was a bullish uh, indication. However, we found resistance around the 40K when we found the 200 uh, SMA here, the purple line. And now we are again coming to the downside, but finding support on the trend line again. So today, this morning, we already went below it, but immediately got up again to the upper side of the trend line. So this trend line has been uh, has been very, very important to support the price action. Um, I don't know how long this could hold, but if we keep going to the downside and retesting, retesting this trend line, it might be very possible that we go to the downside, form a new bottom, filling those 30 to 40 percent probabilities of finding a new bottom around the 28 29 k and then having the reactivation to the upside or some accumulation for stronger rebound so the daily chart is very important right now it will tell us if this trend line can hold at least until sunday when we have the weekly close let's see what happens then two days from now and that's it for the daily chart I don't like this just before we leave the daily chart. I don't like this number one reset count for the reds. So uh, we are, in fact, I'm just recording the video and the price is going a bit down. So it's going to the downside. We are about to touch the trend line again. I don't like it. I don't like the reset of the count here. So we should go immediately to the upside to have a continuation on a green count and have a four, a green four. But if the price action wants to do this, we cannot do anything about it. And that's it. The RSI is again turning back down on the daily. <clears throat> Sorry for that. Uh, the MACD was about to cross, the blue line was about to cross the orange line to the upper side, giving us a small, a small bullish sign, but I guess it's just now going sideways and not even touching the orange line. So the MACD continues to fight uh, sideways and still not going to the upside, but eventually this will have to end and we will have to go up. So I'm not very worried about it, I just have a plan if we, by some reason, find a new bottom below the previous one which was again let me just remind you guys this was 29641 and a half and 50 cents so this was the uh the lowest of the lowest price action we had since this big drop started so if we find a new bottom around 28 29 this will not be a surprise for any of you guys uh it's very possible it happens we could even go lower than that but just leave a week on the way up so let's see you guys know the probability is still on the table it's not it's not a small probability so don't ignore it just try to think about a plan if that happens and be ready for any situation that might occur so we are on the daily the bitmax funding rate is almost exactly the same as the weekly so let's take a look at the four hour so the four hour gives us another another uh, price action below the trend line uh, we are now on a green candle on the one to four red count. So this is uh, this could be this could be in fact just a one to four candle correction for the downside. We are now going up, and if the next candle that will start in 44 minutes uh, continues on the green, we might probably see a reset of the count again to the green one of nine as soon as we pass the one two three four. As soon as we go above. 38 and 900 so if we are able to go um, above 38 900 for the next candle 
sorry, not 48, because if the next candle happens, then it's one, two, three, four. It will be around 38 and a half. So if we are able on the next candle to go above 38 and a half, we will reset the count again to the green side. And that will be again a small bullish sign for the four hour chart. And that's good. So we are not being able to go above the moving averages here. The green is just going across the yellow several times. Uh, I would much more like the next candle to reset the count around 38 and a half and continuing to the upside there and then trying to surpass this moving average the 100 period SMA that is coming down with a vengeance. So let's see, let's see um, what happens in the next few hours. And uh, if the next candle continues this upside movement, um, I hope so. Although we are we are in, in a very, very, um, a very, very strong squeeze of the price action. So let's see the bears and the bulls are fighting for this. Uh, for this position between the 36 and the 40k it's been it's been an interesting fight to watch but we are now getting tired of it so let's see if we are able to go to the upside uh, the bitmax funding rate is uh, not even not even 0 0.01 i guess let me just check the one hour to see if there's any kind of movement yeah it's negative as i said so the premium is very high to the downside. It's below the threshold, the green line here, which is around 0 0.06. Uh, the funding level is around 0 0.02. So uh, I guess the BitMEX funding rate to the to, uh, uh, um, to leverage to the downside. So to the um, oh my god, I just keep forgetting my words. Uh, so for, for the shorts, so the shorts have been have been. Um, giving us the market sentiment of the opposite on the spot market. So I believe that's what's been holding the price action so far. The fact that shorts are now more funded than the longs. So in this case, I guess it's a, it's a small but a good bullish case for the four hour chart that we could at least start a new candle in 40 minutes, around 40 minutes and have a continuation to the upside, breaking the moving averages. So let's see what happens. But uh, I'm very, I'm still sitting on the fence. You know, it's not easy to, when this accumulation continues uh, for so much, so long time already, it's not easy to understand what the market will do in the next few hours or days, but the probabilities are even very close. I gave it 30, 40 to go to the downside, uh, 60, 70 to go to the upside, but this is a very close call. So there is not a very good indication of what might happen. Okay, let's go to the pro indicators here quickly. Uh, so we have been going to the downside for the entire day, just now rebounding for this last candle of the four hour. Um, we continue to accumulate here. There is, however, this is the price squeeze alert that I was talking about. So this means that a lot of bulls and a lot of bears are now fighting for this position. And that's why the price action has been accumulating and just going sideways, up and down, but sideways overall. So I have this alert. This alert might indicate that uh, soon we could have some very volatile move. So let's wait for the developments of this squeeze and see what happens. This is the most important topic for the Pro Indicator Framework today. We are just in the middle of the context, just going a bit uh, uh, to the downside today. But however, we are still in the middle of the context. We have a breakout line here around the 33 and 800. If we break this li line to the downside, we might see levels like 27. So um, we have to watch this closely. We have to see what happens with this squeeze on the price action and um, just keep looking at the charts, if not um, hourly, at least in every four hours, take a look and see what's happening. The dollar is very, very, very stubborn, as I said in my previous video. So the dollar is now on a green candle on the weekly, and it's so stubborn that doesn't want to go to the downside and break the support and go below 89 on the Dixie, the DXY. So, 
I, I'm just getting fed up with the dollar. I know it will break the support sometime, but I will not check it so often as I've been doing. So it doesn't matter right now. Let's check gold. Gold continues to have an MRI top on the weekly. We had also an MRI top on the daily just uh, two days ago. Let it load, let it load. And here it is. So two days ago, we had an MRI top on the on the daily and also on the four hour chart we had recently an mri top uh, let me check it's loading loading so just a few periods behind we had these after that we even had a, a sell signal here the red star and we had an mri top also on the four hour let me check just out of curiosity the one hour here and let's see where if we have some mri top Still loading, loading, okay. Uh, no MRI top, we had an MRI bottom warning and an extension B here to the downside, which confirmed the price action going down. But on the hourly chart, there is no MRI top or bottom for now, just sideways accumulation and that's it. We had, we had an MRI top here, but this is before the top occurred. And so it's not so relevant for now. So let me get back to the weekly on gold, loading, loading, and here it is. We are on a nine MRI top. Don't forget, this is uh, so many MRI tops, at least on the weekly, daily, and four hour. So we have three MRI tops. This is an indication of taking profit. So guys, don't forget, if you want to protect your positions in gold, you should think about taking some profit, at least 10 to 15%. It doesn't kill you and it will protect some of your investment in case we have a one to four candle correction. That's it for gold. Let's check the SMP. The SMP is going up today. So this is the weekly, sorry, but we can check the daily. Yeah, it has been going up for the last few days so since the 20th of may one two three four five six seven it's almost a week now so this entire week has been a positive week for the smp uh, so the entire candle of the weekly has in fact been uh, if you divide it by days has been going up every day so this is a nice recovery for the smp although we had an mri top also but only two candle correction and it was very strong support here for the both candles. The support turned them up exactly at the same level around 40, uh, 4057. And we are now going up. So small recovery for the SMP. But let's see, we reset the count. It's now a one, a green one of nine. Let's see if the this trend, uh, this bullish trend that we have been having for the SMP continues. Uh, and if that happens, in fact, this could be good for Bitcoin too, because they are a bit correlated to each other. So let's see what happens. So this is the chart for the MACD, the daily chart for the MACD. We had the historic low of 5,100 on the MACD daily, and we have been going up since the small recovery we had since the bottom, but now we are going again a bit of sideways, not zero degrees, but almost that. And the orange curved line is now also going sideways. So I don't see that they would cross very, very soon. However, this is a good indication that the, the bearish movement to the downside has been losing strength. And I believe that sometime in the future, they will cross back up again. The blue line will cross the orange to the upside and we will continue to see some bullish movement. So I just wanted to show that we have been going up, but now sideways again. So just a small pause in the action of this MACD, but this will end soon with the price squeeze uh, coming to an end and probably having some volatile move. We will see what happens. And OK, guys, I guess that's it for today. We have been uh, very extended already on time. So let me just stop screen share. I appreciate very much the fact that you have been here watching the video. If you enjoyed the content, you guys know already what to do. Just uh, uh, gently touch the like button as usual by a bitchimoku. <laughs> if you are new to the channel, just subscribe, share it with your friends and the wise words of the uh, Sarge as usual to finish this um, this analysis for today. All right, let's roll. Hey, let's be careful out there. 
that's it guys let's roll and be really careful out there i will see you on the next one bye bye